Okay, so this topic is, um, the next video that I'm making right now is going to be on family gatherings, and I know that it might be a little strange, like, why are we talking about family gatherings, but family gatherings create a lot of anxiety for a lot of people, and I do know that, and I suffer from having serious anxiety from, you know, family reunions or family gatherings, and there's so many reasons, and it's just like one of those things where it's like if you see my isolation video, if I know there's a family gathering coming up, all I want to do is isolate because I do not want to deal with that. I don't like being around a lot of people, and so, um, and, and I mean, there's a lot of reasons why family gatherings or reunions can be stressful. I mean, you can have, let's say, you can have secrets um, in your family unit that you live with that, like, aunts and uncles don't know about or grandparents don't know about um, or secrets that you know were found out about and now everything's uh, like stressful and hostile and there could be abuse that is either known or not known either way it's still going to be a stressful hostile situation there could be just people straight up just don't like each other like uh, grandpa um, Tom and uncle Jim don't like each other and they're just going to clash, but they both have to be at the same reunion because they're family. You know, like, there's always going to be shit like that, and it's going to be stressful, and it's hard to get through. And if I can give any advice to get you through a stressful family gathering, um, then that's what I want to do. So first of all, I want to say, take a fucking deep breath, and um, if you have any, like, anti-anxiety meds or whatever, like, I'm prescribed Ativan, like, if I know that I'm going to have people come over, like, I'll be popping some out of van, you know, not even going to lie, because I can't deal with being around that many people, especially when the family gathering is at your house. You're like, bitch, you're in my territory, and you're stressing me out. You need to leave. You're not going to go say that to your little old grandma. You're not going to be like, oh, hi, grandma, get the fuck out. You can't do that, okay? It's not only wrong, but, like, I don't know, illegal or something. But... Another thing is um, to just uh, stay calm and just remember that, you know, you've done this before. You've, it's not like this is the first time you've ever seen your family, although sometimes with my family I go to a family gathering and I, you know, 30 people I have never met before show up and they're like, oh, these are your cousins. And I'm like, I've never even fucking met you. Who are you? Like, I'm supposed to treat you like a cousin? Like, back off, you know? So that's stressful, but just breathe, keep breathing, you know, take some anti-anxiety if you have any, um, remember that it isn't going to go on forever, I just had my family over last weekend, um, I didn't even know about it, um, all of a sudden I hear a fucking baby crying, and I go upstairs, and my aunt and my two-year-old cousin are here, and I was like, what, I, like, what, and then the doorbell rings, and my grandpa, and my uncle, and more cousins walk in, and I was like, no, 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 this is not okay. Um, so, I did the wrong thing, and I isolated and stayed in my room all weekend and hid, and not only did I feel like shit, I felt guilty for ignoring them, and then I also got in trouble with my mom for being an asshole and not participating, you know, she's like, why do you have to be not such an asshole? Why can't you just be nice to your family? It's like, because they stressed me out, because I have anxiety, and little kids give me anxiety, I hate little kids, and... You know, if you're anything like me and you have anxiety and being around lots of people, little kids, old people, whatever, gives you more anxiety, then you know what I'm saying and you understand and, like, it sucks and I don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to hide in my room and I'm going to fucking isolate and then I'm going to get in trouble and I'm like, why am I getting in trouble for not being a part of my family gathering? Well, because you're part of the family. Well, I didn't choose to be part of this family. But look, you just got to do it anyways. And I know that it sucks. And I might not have the best advice. And, you know, that's why I keep making these videos is not only, not necessarily because I have good advice, but because, you know, I'm going to make them on topics that I've been through and I understand. And so that if you're, whether you know me, you go to my school, or you live on the other side of the fucking country and you've never met me and will never ever meet, I want to at least be able to help you. I want to at least be able to say, look, I might not have the best advice, but... I want you to know that you're not alone, and I've felt that. So, if it comes to anxiety around family gatherings, 
you're not alone, I've been there, um, I hate them, they drive me crazy, and, um, just, just breathe, just calm down, it'll, it won't last forever, I really don't have the best advice because they're really hard for me, and I wish that I had better advice because I would use it myself, um, but just don't isolate, don't, you know, cut them off because it's rude, and then they'll get upset, and they'll take it personally, and family always takes shit personally, and I'm like, it's not personal, it's just it's nothing against you, I just don't like your kid, or it's nothing against you, you just make me want to kill myself, you know, <laughs> so just try to, you know, if you're sitting at the dinner table, you don't necessarily have to strike up a conversation, but if somebody strikes up a conversation with you, don't be fucking rude at asshole and ignore them, answer their questions, have a conversation with them, but, you know, like, you don't have to, you don't have to be super Wonder Woman, and, you know, you, you can just sit quietly without being rude, and make, emphasize the fact that you're not trying to be rude, you just don't feel good, or you're sick, or you're tired, but please make sure that you, they know that you're not trying to be rude, because, people can really get upset and really get their feelings hurt. Um, so just try your best and it's, it will be over eventually and just breathe and, um, you know, or whatever, just, you can get through it. So it'll be okay. <sighs> Breathing is good. Um, pop in some pills, that could be good too, you know, whatever. If they're prescribed to you, if not, then stay the fuck away from them, um, but, yeah, family gatherings, what the fuck do I do, there you go, there's some tips, uh, I hope your next family reunion, um, doesn't make you want to kill yourself, so, good luck!